Okay, so this is one of the baby Jimrins. Um, it's bag five inches. Um, we noticed him flashing yesterday, so we're just gonna do a little scrape and see if we can see anything. So we're scraping just by the gills and then along his body just to get a little bit of mucus and hopefully when we get it under the microscope we'll see nothing but on the other hand we'll see something so we know it's working. Well done. Okay, so as you can see on the slide here, quite a bit of mucus and what we're going to do is put it between these two, lay it flat and then we'll take it over to the microscope and have a little look. As you see this little fella's fine, wondering what's happening, but we've just pressed them together and uh, that goes straight to the microscope. Here's the microscope, we're going to pop this puppy under, just slide this one under. So it's not a mechanical bed on this one, it's not particularly expensive, but it does the trick. So if you're looking for a, a cheap and cheerful microscope at the moment, they're in Aldi's, uh, sorry, in Lidl's, and this is 30 quid. Um, for what it's worth, I did see them in Aldi the other day as well, slightly different make, but the same thing, and they were 28 quid. Right. So, I could obviously see it, but in 40 times it's not enough, so we're going to step it up. So, touch wood, right now I'm seeing nothing moving, but we will go closer in a minute. So, I'm just going to cut it off there and let the gag have a little look. Okay, so as you can see in the top left of the frame, it looks like a little worm. Uh, I'm just going to move the plate. Finger. So, there, right there, we've obviously got looks like a little worm for 30 quid uh, I would suggest uh, this is a bargain so what we're going to do now is we're going to mix up uh, some Flixol enough for one of the quarantine vats that we've got over here so these hold approximately 250 gallons uh, sorry 250 litres and then we'll uh, put the mix in, uh, pop the fish in, and we're gonna do them in batches of probably about 10, just to make sure that they all get it. Uh, they'll have a 24 hour soak, and then they'll come out of one of the vats and we'll give them another, we'll have another mix going, and they'll get another 24 hours in one of the others, and then they'll go back to the pond.